All right, so uh, starting off the day, going to work as always. Synopsis of today, we're gonna be going to work, we're gonna be doing some schoolwork, gonna get some video editing done, maybe even plan out some more videos. That's kind of the plan for today, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. One second. today. It's like 4.30. I was supposed to go to lunch about an hour ago, but it was pretty busy at the bank, so I had to miss uh, the lunch that I had scheduled. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and see my girlfriend. She's kind of in a little coffee shop, so we're gonna go there right now. So, one second. So this is some chicken wings that I'm eating right now for lunch. <laughs> very good, very tasty. All right, so I did just finish work right now. Super excited to be done. It was so busy in there, just a very busy day in the office, but that's just kind of what happens. Um, oh, someone's honking. I'm gonna be going to pick out my girlfriend now from the coffee shop, so I'll see you guys in a little. We're making tacos. We have the meat right here. We have some tomatoes boiling right there. And if we open this, we have some shells baking in the oven. All right, so it is, it's currently 7.45 right now. Um, so we're gonna be eating some dinner and then I'm going to, yeah, you can go. And I'm gonna have to get some schoolwork done as well. I have some I have some essay I have to do. I have some coding project I have to get done. Sounds like the, the shells are, are ready. But um, really, there's just, there's so much to do, so little time all the time. But something very exciting is that I will be having a week off from work. This is my second fully paid week off in like the last like 30 days, so this is it's pretty nice. I haven't taken any vacation for over like a year and a half, so it's pretty good to go on vacation. I wish I, I did it more often, but. Doesn't that just look so good? Kind of a mess though. Currently 12.54 at night right now. Just for the past couple of hours, I was working on some like essay that I had to do for a politics class. Given the fact that Brona is majoring in criminal justice and public policy, her expertise were very useful in helping me like get through this entire assignment. So she's just been helping me with that a lot. Welcome to another late night edition of Subscriber Q&A and I have some weird ones for you guys today. Someone named Liza Hinza said, and you copying Niga Higa. So I've been, I, I've been getting a lot of people saying that I, I've been copying like this black tech YouTuber MKBHD. And now I have somebody saying that I've, I'm copying the Asian YouTuber Niga Higa. Buddy B Ninja is a DVD for you. Arr. This DVD. I, I, I just don't know where the, where the comparison comes from. All right, so we got this next question from Peter Tran and he says, how did you discover that you're interested in economics and finance? Was becoming a financial advisor the end goal or did your degree just lead you to that? This is a two part question that requires two answers and it's actually a pretty good one. It really for me, how I discovered that I was really into business, economics and finance was kind of through my failure of not enjoying computer science. All through high school, I was like, I'm gonna do computer science and then I got to university, I didn't enjoy it, and I find that the best way to find the things that you'll love to do for the rest of your life is kind of almost being miserable doing things that you don't like. In other words, I find that when you're doing something that you don't like for a very, very long time, it's almost as if you push yourself and your mind to find something else that will make you sane and make you happy, and in economics and finance was kind of that for me. Was becoming a financial advisor the end goal, or did your degree just lead you to To be completely honest, my degree just led me to that. It has never been my end goal to just be a financial advisor. And not to throw shades at people that only want to be a financial advisor for the rest of their life. That's just not what I wanna do. There's a lot of other things I wanna do and the financial advisor role was kind of like that stepping stone for me 
uh, on to move on to bigger and, and better things. So, all right, so that's it for subscriber Q and A. Make sure you drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new. But until next time, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Peace. Want to say bye? No. She says bye too. Peace.